All right, Brock's here yet again. I was going to see if Ross wanted to come over too, but he's house-sitting, I guess, so he's not here. Um, drift event is one week and one day away, so Brock and I are going to strip out all the interior. Tomorrow I'm going to go out to Mountain Home, and we're going to uh, put the NRG seat in. Now, those tires are really bald. That's probably not very safe to drive on, honestly. That's fine. I'll just drive it to Mountain Home because these windows don't work, so I'm just going to take the motors out and like you can slide the windows up and down manually if you feel oh. it necessary oh sick a bunch of quarters thanks tyler uh, we'll see how it fits with mine because that might be a pretty okay spot wait this car has two cigarette lighters who the hell i don't know, have any idea how to take all this stuff out you know what would be helpful a uh, a manual you know where you can get one of those e-manual online all right ah yes perfect now i have an entire ford mustang manual on my phone but seriously guys go check out e -manual. click the link in the description or the pinned comment and uh go find yourself a m manual a repair manual for your car they have chilton haynes manuals and a bunch of factory repair manuals for all kinds of cars and brands thousands and thousands of them even tractors stuff like that I think they even have for like like appliances and stuff. Click the link in the description. You know me, we're all about transparency here. This is a partnered video. If you buy something from them, I do get a commission from it. So help your boy out. Go get yourself a full manual that you can download in PDF form. You can print it out and put it in a binder if you want. You can bring your laptop out or you can have it on your phone. Take it with you everywhere you have your car. Car breaks on the side of the road, you got a manual. Get all your torque specs, everything you need. Most of them are only like 20 or 30 bucks which is cheaper than the paperback cover for the manual I paid for the Volkswagen because that was like 60 because these things are like $100 new. So there's really no reason to have an actual physical copy of a book in this day and age. Books are overrated. Nobody reads. Everyone knows that. Here I am thinking Ford's being selfish and not putting cup holders in Mustangs, but look at this, dude. That's useful. All right. While we're waiting for Tyler to finish shitting, Oh, the locks work. We're going to take this door panel off. I am selling all this stuff. This window like wanted to work, but I'm just going to pull the motors so I can manually slide the windows up and down because uh, I just don't want to mess. It's a race car, guys. It doesn't matter. I don't need working windows. As long as I can have them up or down at my own will, and I'm happy, and since we'll have no door panels, once they're down, you can just grab the actual window and pull that bitch back up. It's gonna be fine. It looks like this has been off before. I have a suspicion on. there was something there. Nah, I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, you're right, right? So. Yeah, mm. all right, nice. Tight. There's little square pockets. Yeah. And you literally just unbolt those, push it back, reach in, and you can fish it out, unplug it. And then uh, without the worm drive and the gears holding everything up, the regulator should just go up and down manually. And uh, if I need to wedge a stick in there or something to keep the window up when I want it up, that's fine. I usually drift with the windows down anyway. Test this theory out real quick. Oh, well. <laughs> That's weird. how. Alright, there's the uh, motor. So there's nothing restricting this anymore. So, yeah, in theory. God, hold still. Hey. Ow, fuck. <laughs> Broken? There's just a little cutout. What? On the glass. There's like a little round spot in it. Can you see? Oh yeah, that's how it comes. Okay. Yeah, now you can put her all the way down. Go windows down mode, which is amazing. Then you just don't pinch your finger like I just did. <laughs> oh yeah, the glass is, I guess it's just seated down there. It's not held in with anything. So pushing it up by the regulator is a little better idea because then you can pull the glass off the track on accident, but Comes to be a certain point where you don't have to pull it by the glass itself. At any rate, 
window goes down and up now. It doesn't have to be done electronically. I don't care. All right, so I got this mostly free. I feel like there's something holding this up still. at me. This has got to be very adamant. Ugh. Oh, there is a wiring harness. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, yeah, because there's a fog light switch, right? I forgot. Oh, yeah. It's fine. We don't need this. So one of the things Cody Leach sent was a short shifter. And uh, I'm going to take this off real quick. Because my cousin put a short shifter in his V6 Mustang that was in the last Mustang video. And after I drove that, I was like, boy, I need to put my short shifter in because that's tight. So, I'm just going to take this off real quick, kind of assess the situation, see what we're working with here. Oh, and I was then, there when we did it. Oh, were you? Yeah, I helped them. Is it pretty quick? Yeah, it's pretty easy. Should we just do it real fast? Might as well. We're in here. Yeah. Dang, can we a whole oh he must have paid said no it says zero send you a whole three ounce tube of rtv with this bitch the plug over there at, well i guess if it's a 200 dollars short shifter they should probably be sucking you you want some rtv with that for free like, damn straight i want some <laughs> rtv with that 200 dollars shifter thank you that'd be great real generous of you That is an unsatisfactory tape peel right there. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Chris Chan would be pissed. <laughs> I, uh, I think that's it. Might be a a tad unnecessary, but <laughs> it'd be backwards. Oh Jesus fuck! I should just put a stick straight up. You would never have <laughs> any idea what gear you're in, dude. Oh my God, that's ridiculous. All right, let's All right. get the shifter shifter on. Put the shifter shifter on. What shifter shifter on Disney Channel? Was yeah, the one with Nickelodeon. the twins, Shifter Shifter, oh, yeah. Tia, Tia and Tamara, is that their names? Uh, I don't remember. Shifter Shifter! I wonder if this has the same thread pattern, no. I was going to say it has a Miata, because I still have that wooden, like, Nardi knockout shifter. This how you know it's a good-ass tap, <laughs> when they, uh, you put it in from either side. Dude, the difference is... Nuts. Yeah, Shane was saying that when we did his. Oh, these limits? Is that what you were talking about? Yeah. Yeah, I think. Would it change it if we lowered it? It would make it even shorter, yeah. would, I would think. I kind of want to. This kid, cool. Let's give it a shot. We got power tools. It's going to take six seconds. There's actually. Keeping it. Okay. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> It feels like the simulator shifter now. Yeah, that's crazy. Tyler drove this car every day for three years. So you know how sloppy and terrible a stock Mustang shifter is. But I liked it sloppy. No, you're not gonna like this then. <laughs> Give her a, a shot. <sighs> looks incredibly mechanical in here. Mm -hmm. That looks super clean though. I like the... Uh, it's facing the wrong way, but yeah, <laughs> don't talk about it. Damn it. It's very uh, precise. Yeah, it's like precision. <laughs> and then just throw the ratcheting side on it. Unless it's loose enough, you can get it with your fingers. price I paid for this car just keeps slowly going down.
There's nothing to lean on in here anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Back seats are coming out. Oh, okay, well, I pulled the buckles out. Oh, yeah. Push them through. Uh, all right, we got all the interior pieces do, out. If you want to bring something for you. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. You having a conversation? Yeah, are you? <laughs> yeah. Go right ahead, take a drink of that. Bet you will. I knew you'd do it. Ask. I'm flipping you up, but my hands are gripping the cup, so. What about your other hand? It's gripping a phone. Mm. Convenient, isn't it? Yeah, just like a store that's filled with convenience. <laughs> well, anyway, we're gonna jack the front end up, pop the wheels off real quick, and put the coilovers all the way down. I think we're calling it good for the day. Who viewed your profile or who sent you a message? We're going all the way down. Dude, that is a lot lower. That looks sick, honestly. Now the back looks really high, but that's as low as it'll go. I just want to make sure. Oh, yeah, we're clear. That's good. Oh, uh, are we? No. We're catching this fender liner a little bit. Pull it on. Do it. Okay. <clears throat> that ain't a Mustang shifter. What the? Did you? It's got a short shifter now. Mustang things. I was yeah. I was just driving it, and uh, the hose clamp came off the intake box and pinned the throttle wide open. Oh, sick. It was terrifying. Perfect. <laughs> That's how that worked. Yeah, it was uh, it was something. All right, guys, Mustang is, I don't know. It, it's lower now, and it has a short shifter in it. Interior's all stripped out. We're gonna go put the hydro in it tomorrow and put that seat in it, and then that's as far as I'm taking it for drifting it. Found out that the pan hard kit from Maximum Motorsports is not compatible with those coilovers. So we gotta figure out a workaround for that. For now, that's exactly how I'm gonna drift it. I want to get the uh, alignment a little better situated in the front and we might have to raise the front up a tad because it's catching on the fender liner. I don't know if I want to take the fender liners out because I'm a little afraid of those harnesses that are up in there. But for now, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, add me on Snapchat at BigB1011. Submit a picture of your car to be featured at the end of the video for Car of the Video to curseforeverhelp at gmail.com. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.